Hello, beautiful people. I'm Hurricane Hacker, and welcome back to another episode of Kokoro Doki Doki Nos. Oh, crap. Okay, I already messed up the name. Who cares? Anyways, last time we enrolled into our school, we are a special student, and our love interest is this thing. We also met a very hairy European, a black guy, and an emo. Yeah. It's already shaping up to be the most amazing thing of all time. And also, the humor is just amazing. Anyway... <clears throat> Okuchan and I start up a new conversation. I will not fail at succeeding now. You seem like a pervy average adolescent Japanese male. I bet you watch anime. Actually, I do. Nerd. You've got to be shitting me. It's okay. My brother is an otaku, too. You two should get along great. Yeah. I don't think I saw your brother in class today. What's his name? Emo-kun. Holy crap. Okay. Man, that was a really tiring first day of school. I can't believe that Mokuchan's brother is that annoying, brooding, cock-slap emo-coon. Maybe my plan to smell her pantsy won't come to fruition after all. That's my plan, by the way. Ah, That emo-coon! Just wanna, like, grab his neck and, like, tear it off and then proceed to poop in it. I have no idea what the two of us could possibly have in common. He wears tight jeans. I wear loose-fitting jeans. He listens to tight jeans music. I listen to K-pop. Gangnam Style. Okay. He reads books about vampires in tight jeans. I read books about magical girls that trip and their boobs are forced into the face of the male protagonist. Yup, anime. In a nutshell. See? Nothing in common. Sheesh. I can't wait to get back to my new dorm room. Wait, are we gonna have, like, roommates? I haven't been there since this morning. I forget what it looks like. Come to think of it, I forget why my parents sent me to this boarding school in the first place. Are they dead or something? I don't know. Maybe it had something to do with the fact that my mother is an alcoholic, and my father is always away at work all the time. Plus, half the time he's here, he's fucking his secretary. Jesus! I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> Damn. I don't think either of my parents are qualified to be parents. So they sent me here so that the teachers would be my parents. Forced adoption. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's... that's retarded. Or something like that. Fuck if I know. I'm just looking forward to watching some etchy and getting to bed. I'm bushed. I open my door and find the worst of all. What are you doing here, dweeb? That emo coon really steams me up. Oh. Where's that? I've seen that before. Not sure where. And if anyone has ever heard of Katawata Sojo, this is a weird painting that always seems to be there. I think it switches sometimes. And I have no idea what that is. This is my dorm room, butt face. Impossible! This is my dorm room! Why am I not fucking surprised? It seems like we're roommates then. Yeah, looks like it. In that case, let me lay down some ground rules. Don't ever look in my secret box. It has some personal items in there that are meant to be secret. Because dorks like you can't appreciate true art. You mean like those S things that people would make in school? I'm already lost. Don't get crumbs on my bed. Don't ever wear any of my clothes or use my makeup. By the way, I really hope you like my amazing band, Tears of Unenthusiasm! Explanation point. Because we're gonna practice in here. What the? This is a tiny little dorm room. 
You know, dude, that name is really gay sounding. What? I said, you know, dude, that name is really great sounding. I would like to rub my flaccid penis on the face of that anthropomorphized <laughs> incarnation of your bat. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Yo, nice. Dang, that smile. It was then that Imakun smirked at me for about half a second, but he did it nonetheless. You know, maybe you are a cool guy. I can't really tell yet. Same with you, man. I'm just hoping you're not like... You're not like anal? Oh. Oh, he means the other type. Okay. Like anal about stuff or anything. Oh no, I do like anal. What? I said, would you be interested in eating a bowl of Cap'n Crunch? It's nature's superfood. What is natural about Captain Crunch? Do you, they even sell that in this country? You don't question the captain, he'll fuck you up. Just shut up and eat it. You'll thank me later. Probably has drugs in it or something. I wake up the next morning and I have a funny feeling in my pants. Did he rape me? No, <laughs> There's a gigantic circle of piss that apparently permeated my pants and wetted the bed sheets. What the hell? I am freaking out. Wait, I, okay, I'm reading that really weird. I was thinking of Emokun for a second. <clears throat> I look to see if Emokun is watching. This would be so embarrassing if he was. Luckily, he's long gone. <laughs> okay, I run into the hallway to see if I can use the bathroom. <sighs> look to the left. Look to the right. I suddenly feel like I have to she. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. This is no good. I'm going to shit myself right in this hallway. In the co ed hallway, no less. Super kawaii girls will laugh at my inability to control my bowels. I try to clench my cheeks as I cover my crotch area so they can't see my pee stains. What is wrong with me? Am I losing it? It was probably the Captain Crunch. <laughs> I questioned him and now he's effing me up. I'm certainly losing any knowledge of potty training I may have once received. I guess that's why they call it puberty, huh? Wait, no. I can't control it. I'm going to lose myself. Oh. Oh god, oh god, oh that's gross. Ew. I just fucking shat my pants in the hallway. <laughs> what could have done this? It must have been the captain. Damn you, Captain Crunch. Damn you to hell. And all these showers are occupied. Class starts in five minutes. I'm going to be late for school. Chikoku, chikoku. This is such an unusual predicament that I'm sure no one in my position has ever felt before. Actually, no, I think Gakudo from prison school has probably done that. <laughs> Why someone would be late to school for any reason other than shitting themselves is a profound mystery indeed. I'm going to change my clothes, but I'm still going to smell like shit and piss all day. <laughs> and so I did. At lunch, Mokuchan does not want to sit next to me because of the smell. I sit alone like a loser. It's a conspiracy. Sensei Sensei tells me to leave class and take a shower when I got back because he finally noticed the smell. <clears throat> Imakun explains to me that Captain Crunch is a controlled substance in some countries. Wait, what? Okay. He asks if I ever learned about it in health class. I tell him I didn't. He calls me a dweeb. He says he only gives me ten, gave me ten ounces, which shouldn't have been enough to cause me to overdose. Apparently, I can't hold my sweet corn and oat breakfast here. <laughs> We're treating it like drugs. I couldn't hold my cocaine. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to develop a tolerance if I'm going to survive in today's competitive workforce. I go to class again the next day. I no longer smell like piss and shit, which is preferable to my prior olfactory status. The lunch purveyors are out of every possible food. Sushi, rice, kimchi, hamburgers, sandwiches, curry bread. They got jack shit except for one thing. Oh god, is it gonna be 
cereal. I am face to face once again with my old nemesis. In class, I pray that I can hold in my projectile shits till I get back to my dorm. Everything's like speeding by really fast, like, what the hell, okay. You know that feeling when you take a sheet and it's just so satisfying? That's how I feel right now. You know what? I have a feeling that this is going to be a pretty boring sequence, so you might as well just click through it. But don't click too fast, or you'll be a big willy and miss important plot events. What the heck? The, the fourth wall? Okay. I go to class. I eat- I go eat lunch. Not cap and Crunch this time. More class. I rub one out when emo Kun isn't- or... I'm sleeping now, so I'm going to sleep. This is getting repetitive. I tell Moku-chan about what happens to me when I eat Captain Crunch. Oh my- Oh my god! Whenever you eat Captain Crunch, you shit everywhere! It's glorious. Oh, okay. She makes me eat some on a dare. Aww. I do it because she probably thinks I'm a pussy ass bitch. And also because I still yearn for her pantsu. My tummy hurts, but I don't uncontrollably shit. That's a good sign. What the hell am I even learning in this class anyway? Apparently not much because I never ha seem to have homework. I watched the newest episode of Naruto Shippuden instead. Freaking weeb. Okay, I momentarily question what I'm doing with my life. For a moment, I feel like I might be a homophobic misogynist. Misogyn. So okay. Genistic? Creep. But I shrug off the thought. I realize I don't care about anything. It's not going to my Sakura body pillow. I wasn't stupid before taking learning for mental detectives. I think I am now. All I do all day every day is listen to Sensei Sensei rant and then I color in my coloring book. <laughs> Sensei Sensei is impressed by my ability to stay within the lines. Shoom! That's good my loo nigga. I never really thought of myself as an artist, but now I'm kind of a boss at it. You know, art. I'm taking art appreciation right now. You know no art! No. I feel like I'm really bonding with Mokuchan. Oh, Moku-chan, your pantsu with w will be mine. <laughs> Damn. Still thirsty, and your brother is none the wiser of my master plan. I try to refrain from crack cackling like a silly bitch. Since I don't have any homework or any schoolwork of any kind, for that matter, I figure I would devise a plan to acquire Moku-chan's pantsu. This guy is, like, desperate for that pantsu. I try to think of a diabolical scheme, but I can't really. It's hard for me to work on an empty stomach. You would think that being in direct contact with Mokuchan would make it easier for me to devise a skin and nab her pantsu. No. But not only does it make it hard to concentrate, it makes me want to aim higher. Dude! Why just acquire her pantsy when I can acquire her vagina? <laughs> okay. Amazing. This game's plot is amazing. Does that sound creepy? Am I a creepy guy? Yes. Yes, you are, player coon. Hmm. Nah. I decided to name the project the Mokuyobi Nari Pantsu Acquisition Program. I think it has a nice ring to it. It's, dude, it's long. With my goal in sight, I can't help but revel in its smell. That rhyme. It smells like a strawberry scratch and sniff sticker. How? Well, it seems like my plan is coming along just swimmingly. <laughs> Oops, okay. I have already come up with a name for this plot, and that's the hardest part, right? Coming up with the names is really hard. You know when you're writing a story and you're trying to come up with the character's name and you're like, Fuck! I didn't think this would be that hard. But it is. It's very hard. It's as hard as my dick when I think about Mokuchan's pansu. <laughs> but 
What am I even playing? <laughs> Didn't I say earlier that a third year like my- Third year? Jesus! Like myself shouldn't be thinking dirty thoughts about a first year like Moku-chan. Fuck that noise. She's the only human being that acknowledges my existence. And for all I know, her vagina smells like strawberries. <laughs> More like cherries. Yeah! Okay. Delusions never hurt anybody. Unless they do. But this is important. I'm not a popular kid like Largo San He's popular? He doesn't even talk. It's been a few weeks now, and the Mokuyobi Nadi Pansu acquisition program is going just as planned. Um, I thought it was a... Okay. I've not really thought of anything besides the name, but I still think that's the most important part anyway. It makes it sound official. God, I'm hopeless. I'm hoping some sort of inspiration will hit me and direct me to my next course of action. It's hard being this smart, but someone's got to do it. Uh, jeez, bro, no, you're not. Please stop. Listen up, maggots. It's that time of year again. It's right, you cum guzzling sacks of worthless scum. It's exactly what you thought it would be, my niggas. Your worst fucking nightmare. Um, Sensei Sensei, are you having your PTSD flashbacks again? You're not in the killing fields right now. You're at school. Of course I am, Nick. Oh, of course I know. You insufferable piece of crap. This is the time when nothing matters. It's the time of examinations. What could we possibly? What could we possibly be test? Um. I'm gonna say, be tested on. We didn't do a damn thing in this class besides coloring coloring books, build sculptures out of macaroni, and post YouTube comments. <laughs> Hashtag weep. Okay. All of which require no thought and are the mental equivalent of playing Operation without the batteries in the game board. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Sensei, Sensei, what are we being tested on? You need to prove the rest of the world that you have made progress and are on your way to living on your own without the need of an aid, nigga. What? I don't need an aid. I'm perfectly fine. Then why have you been eating pace for the past three minutes? Holy shit, he's right. What have I become? I can't control my bowel movements. I eat paste. Next thing you know, I'll be licking the tile floor. Stop licking the tiling! Oh my god! Holy shit! I'm such an asshole! So listen up, you flow lickers! You're going to be tested on your ability to function like a normal human being in society! You'll be tested on writing your name, tying your shoes, and knowing how to appropriate funds to an offshore account in Barbados in the event you embezzle millions from a hedge fund broker brokerage firm. Wait, what? What? Sensei, Sensei. I feel like one of those things doesn't really belong in that list. It doesn't matter what you think. We've all agreed you're a cockslap. Yeah, I still think this guy is a cockslap. Don't you cunt suckers need to study for this test and pass. Otherwise, I'm not going to be rehired next semester. None of us want that. Because I'm fired, you will be the ones to pay. I know where you all live. I know where your families live. I will destroy you and everyone you love, nigga. Because there will be absolutely no trace of you left on this earth. And not a soul will live to mourn you. Well, that seems like it would put a few kinks in my Moku Yobi Nadi Pansu acquisition program. I will find you. And I will kill you. I'm going to have to try to pass this test. You can try to slow me down, Sensei Sensei, but this is just a speed bump on the road to consensually probing Mokuchan's monochrome snatch pipe. Damn. I can see the plan so that you waste the space will actually pass, even though that seemed highly unlikely due to your performance records. I'm going inside each of you a study buddy. 
it will be the job of each study buddy to make sure that their partner passes. Otherwise, I will kill their family. Damn. Now, Ambassador, you will be exempt from this exam because I am well aware that this will not be a problem for you, my nigga. Ambassador? I think he's talking about Largo, Senpai. That guy is so weird, but all the ladies love him for some reason. I think it's because women love the strong, silent type. The rest of you, play a coon and emo cool. You must study up and make sure you both pass. Ugh, fucking lame. Hey, I thought we were friends, man. Yeah, we are. But now you're going to have to come back to my house and meet my sister. Sister? Okuchan? We might even have to have a sleepover. Sleepover? God, I hope my sister doesn't do that thing she always does. Could it be Pansu? I knew my plan would all come together in the end. I am a genius. Alright, got Oh, jeez! <laughs> what the... Well... Um... Well, guys, I think that this is a pretty good place to end it here. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more. And I hope to see you beautiful people again in the next one.